Good day, good twelfth. My name is Karen Matukere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and welcome to 1.8 Under Dynamics of Imperfect Markets. Well, this one says, study the cartoon below and answer the questions that follow. And uh, if we look here, we have Starbucks fighting with Dunkin' Donuts. Well, this one looks like one of the the ones I have in my other textbook. Uh, which is this one. Uh, it was Coke fighting Pepsi. Well, uh, I think more or less the same questions. To find the concept market, determine which market structure is this, what is the nature of the two products in the cartoon, and then this market structure is hybrid, explain this statement. Well, it will, you'll see it's more or less the same questions as the ones we are going to see here. But let's uh, do some studying, monopolistic competition. So don't expect which market structure, I guess, because it's given the hybrid structure. Well, expect something around this hybrid structure. I am the best coffee. I am covered with a lead. Oh, this one is not covered. I am the best coffee, period. So lead or no lead, I'm the best. Okay, they're fighting. All right, so what message is depicted? Well, competition. Determine the nature of the product sold. Well, we would say differentiated. And then um, what type or, or heterogeneous? What type of profit? I'm about to sneeze, please. <coughs> Yo, bless me. What type of profit is made by monopolistic competitors in the long run? Well, since there are no barriers to entry, no more profit. Uh, briefly describe the term hybrid structure. Well, a monopolistic uh, firm is, and don't confuse this for monopoly. And with monopoly, we can then say the monopolist, the difference is this I see, monopolistic competition. So this is a market structure with many buyers and sellers, but they are selling differentiated products. Uh, fast food outlets are a good example. Here we have coffee shops. Yes, like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. Now, uh, so what was the question? Oh, hybrid structure. Okay, so what is a hybrid structure? Now, a monopolistic uh, firm is that which has... Uh, some characteristics or from perfect and some from monopoly. So it is a hybrid structure because it's like a combination of two market structures in one. There are elements of monopoly in it. There are elements of monopoly of perfect in it. Uh, well, McFist is only found at McDonald's. So that's kind of monopoly type of thing. But it's a burger at the end of the day. And there are many burgers. So uh, that becomes more like perfect. So it then is a hybrid structure. Okay. Then why does a monopoly now take notes? We have shifted. Well, this is dynamics of imperfect markets. We are no longer talking about the same market structure. This one is monopolistic. Now this one is monopoly. So this one is many. This one is one take care take 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 uh, uh well i've never really seen them mixing it up like this don't want to stick to one but i'm sure what they are sticking to here is dynamics of imperfect markets all right not sticking to one specific market structure take note now why does a monopoly fail to achieve productive efficiency well a monopolist will restrict output and increase the price he has no, like he's the only one, there's no competition. So basically he can afford to be inefficient and still survive. Then uh, how do oligopolists maintain their market share? Uh, well, think about what uh, banks do. Think about, now we shifted again. Oh, wow. So we moved from monopolistic, many buyers and sellers. We moved to monopoly, one. We went to oligopoly, few. In one question, in one data response, take note. And the cartoon is about monopolistic. That's kind of weird. But, well, since they did it, just watch out, they can do it again. So, 
the question says how do oligopolists maintain their market share well anything around uh them marketing branding loyalty points you name it anything that is non-price competition okay let's have a look at our responses uh determine the nature of product well this one is heterogeneous or differentiated uh what what type of profit is made that's normal profit the reason is there are no barriers to entry then briefly describe the term hybrid structure well hybrid structure describe the fact that monopolistic competition is comprised of characteristics of both perfect and monopoly that's what i said then uh why do why does a monopoly fail to achieve productive efficiency well the monopolist take note monopolist that one was monopolistic it can be confusing but then usually it would be followed by competition but the biggest one is this part here i see because i can say monopolistic firm and monopolist just know which one is which okay now i'm back to that so the monopolist produces output that is less than the desired output that's what i said it fails to minimize average cost inefficiency may occur since there is no competition i also mentioned this then how do oligopolists maintain their market share well they can extend shopping hours to encourage uh, greater flexibility uh, to households like banks you will see that if there's a bank that opens longer than others well some people will choose it for that reason because maybe they still want to be able to go to the bank when they knock off wherever it is that they work then promoting online purchases yes that can work like take a lot uh, but uh, that now isn't really oligopoly because there are many selling online that would mostly be monopolistic but then if an oligopoly could sell online then yes that can make them maintain their market share so promoting online purchases which makes it easier for consumers to shop around without any additional costs or variety of goods available to make comparisons then implementing product differentiation or products might slightly differ in terms of physical appearance packaging etc anything along those lines uh, oligopolists could then maintain their market share well this has brought us to the end of this particular video and as usual like subscribe share and god bless we'll see you in the next video